Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I'm a biomed tech. I've noticed that there's not a lot of videos out there on how to do PMs or uh, repair equipment, so I thought I would start sharing with everybody how I do it. Um, today we're going to be working with the Welch Allen 9600 Plus Calibration Tester. Um, this is for checking your uh, oral thermometers uh, to make sure that they're calibrated correctly. Uh, this device will just check to make sure that it is reading accurately. If not, and that your, your uh, thermometer does need to be recalibrated, we're going to be using the thermometer calibration key today as well. Um, we're actually going to use this first before we start testing. Uh, if we do all the testing and something is off, we're going to have to recalibrate it and then once uh, we recalibrate it, we're going to have to retest it. So it's just easier to always calibrate it first before you do anything and then start with the testing. Now to do this, it's pretty simple. Um, sadly, this calibration key does not come with the uh, tester itself. You do have to order it separately. It's for the models 690 and 692. Um, all you've got to do on this is you're just going to pull off this blue cover with the thermometer. You're going to take out the cable port and you're going to plug this key in. Then you need to place the thermometer everything back in. Once you pull it out it's going to turn on and it's going to start calibrating itself. Once it's done calibrating it's going to beep and let you know. Okay it's done. It says 97.3 and to make sure that it is accurate it tells you that it should read 97.3 plus or minus 0.2 um, and of course we're doing this in Fahrenheit. If it was in Celsius it would be 36.3 plus or minus 0.1. So once that's done all you've got to do is take it back out, pull the key out, and then of course put the thermometer back in. And then it's all done. Now it's been calibrated. Now that it's calibrated, we're going to start going to the testing. Now this guy takes a while to warm up. You're going to have to plug it in. Uh, the manual does tell you to keep it at room temperature for like 30 minutes before you plug it in, just so that way it warms up faster. Uh, once you plug it in, um, it will start to warm up. Now there are three set points on this that you're going to check your thermometer at. 96.8, 101.3, 105.8. And of course, those are all at Fahrenheit. Um, the first one we're going to start at is 96.8. And I did start this up earlier so it was ready. As you can see, it's reading 96.8. Uh, once you plug it in, it takes about 30 minutes to warm up and get to that set point. If you, uh, The manual says 20 minutes, but it, it took more like 30 minutes. Now, when you go to change the set points, you're going to push this down and hold it for three seconds and then let go. And then in the top left corner, you'll see that the set point will change right there to the next set point, which will be 101.3. Um, it takes about five or ten minutes to get to that set point. So if you have a lot of these to check, I would suggest doing a bunch of them at once and checking them all at the first set point. And then resetting that set point to the next one and checking them all at that instead of trying to do them one at a time because it's going to take all day that way. So once it's at that, you have to get uh, your thermometer into the monitor mode. The only bad part about that is uh, this one doesn't want to do it the way the manual says. The manual says all you got to do is push the little stopwatch thing once you pull it out and it'll go into manual mode. And as you can see, mine doesn't go into manual mode. So when that doesn't work, we just sit there and hold the thermometer for one minute and it will get there and then it'll pop into manual mode. And of course before I start all this it tells you you want to make sure that the thermometer is clean so you just clean it with a little bit of alcohol. I use a cotton. Um, this is also a new one. I did replace it because the old one was all tore up and really bad looking.
and you'll see it say monitor or I'm sorry you'll see a little uh, slug with monitor below it when it's ready there you go see 60 seconds it's starting to flash and then all you do is just open this up until you see the little hole and place this in there and it won't show up right away because this is monitoring mode it's going to go slow and it's going to bring itself up it takes a few seconds so 96 96.3 and then once it does hit that 96.8 I like to wait a few seconds just to make sure it stays at that and doesn't go above 96.8